Hi, everybody. Welcome to... It's us. Vlog. V-log. One... Seven. Seventeen. Holy shit, we've done 17 vlogs. Mm, it's kind of an evening vlog, gang. You see yeah, you notice the lighting, lighting difference? It's not our high-tech studio effects that you'd probably assume we'd be I using. this natural angelic glow about me. Totally. It's <laughs> an evening porch sit and hang. And we said, fuck it. You know what? We're going to do another top ten list. <gasps> and count them. Today. So, I bet this one's going to be controversial. Just because people get really weird when you talk about hardcore. But that guy's not my favorite. Fuck you. You left you off this guy from enough. 1994 yeah. in Tampa Bay. Yeah, exactly. We're expecting That's a lot of that. You didn't name enough <laughs> this guy from whatever city. And <clears throat> but anyway, this is our top 10 hardcore vocals. Hardcore singers of all time. Top 10. Again, I always have to explain this to everybody. I don't mean your favorite bands, okay? Right. We I mean don't mean that. Who fucking mm -hmm. rips and tears the most? The ripping and the tearing. <laughs> Insert that guy. What brings you to hedonism that many times? The wild women. The wild, the wild women. The ripping and the tearing. The ripping and the tearing. That guy rules. Good idea. I love that guy. I love that guy. <laughs> you know what else I want to say? The wild women. You gotta also insert that guy. Look at his hands. The sign of Satan. Okay. So without further ado, I want to try as much as I can to not repeat records that we've already shown. Unfortunately, I might have to repeat one or two, but I'm doing my best. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start. Everybody Again, loves no HR. particular order. Everybody HR loves HR. HR has to be there. Fantastically amazing vocals that have been ripped off for ages. Yeah, the acrobatics. Yep. And the, the circus. Brigade. The circus antics. <laughs> yep. He even sort of started the tough guy routine, even yeah, though he was, he did. you know, PMA. He did. They had all those fucking... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Number one, HR. Here's another HR for you. Mm. Henry Rollins. Number two. I know everyone likes to be cool and be all, Henry is the worst black flag he singer. Cool. He's the worst. I, I hate him. I hate people say that. Anyway, you're Damage is the stupid. best black flag album. So and Henry wrong. is the best. Look, anyway, you could also yeah. join SOA. Do you play drums? There's a yeah. phone number on there. <laughs> call it. Henry we should call great. it right now. See who answers. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to still be there, right? I don't know. Yeah, there it is. 243-1132. The Washington, D.C. area code. I don't remember. You guys know what it is? Does it matter? Hi, he seems like the kind of guy who would never change his phone number. I bet if he still lived in well, D.C. If, if, if that, that would still yeah, his Yeah, modern number. times where you can take your phone number with you, I'm sure he would still have that same all, phone hey, number. Henry, you are Hi, the best Henry. black flag vocalist, and you're number two on our list. Yeah. Just like people call <laughs> Discord and tell Ian that they're drinking beer for right. some reason. Um, Ooh, so, thanks, Streetlights. Look at that nice oh, lighting. Oh, wow. Did you notice that? Again, it wasn't a special effect that you'd expect from us with our high-tech studio <laughs> effects that we normally employ. Not this time. <laughs> this was actually the undisclosed location yeah. local government. Thanks, turned guys. on the streetlights. Thank you. Thanks. Just, just, for just for us. So Henry Rollins, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tough guy also. Hard ass, hardcore singer. Undeniably fantastic vocals. Am I putting clips in this one? I probably am. Oh, Ooh, look at that. We forgot the HR one, so you have to imagine that we did that. Well, no, just imagine that. It'll be there. As much as all the Black Flag singers were good. Mm -hmm. And had their place and time in history. Your True. mom did not know who Black Flag was no. before Henry Rollins joined the band. Mm -hmm. Okay? A lot of people like to hate on Henry because he was in good shape. Oh, he's a jock. Because uh -huh. oh, so what, stupid. he should be pale and skinny like a junkie or big and fat? What? Right. I don't get it. It wasn't cool because he was in good shape. 
you really have muscles. fucking stupid. That's just really stupid. No, I mean, People the shorts, that was a little weird. No, the shorts were fantastic. Know, but they were hilarious at the same time. Yeah. We love Made the shorts. Made people uncomfortable, so. It's part of why you're I on like this it. list. Yeah. What are you going to do? One time, uh, an old friend of mine from the days of yore went and saw Black Flag in D.C. in the early 80s. And Henry jumped off the stage and bit his face <laughs> and wouldn't let go. He actually had to pry Henry's mouth off of his cheek. Maybe Henry liked him. Maybe Henry liked him. So, yeah, Henry Rollins. Screw you if you don't like it. You're wrong. Again, no order. I'm just picking up records that I pulled out. I'm going to go with Barry. Barry! From the Neck Rose. He's one of our favorites. We named our child. A Barry. fantastic wordsmith along with mm -hmm. cool, hardcore singer. Mm -hmm. Not the hard-ass tough guy routine either. Not in great shape. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of looked like Danny Partridge in his own words, too. How about a clip? <laughs> There was like uh, on the uh, the liner notes to uh, uh, the the fake life at the Enorma Dome mm -hmm. Necros album. He talks about uh, there's like a fake tour diary. I think some of it's real. <laughs> and uh, and he was like, oh, I'm not talking about having sex on the road because band sex stories are boring. And he goes, even a band with a Danny Partridge looking motherfucker with a singer still gets <laughs> laid, but doesn't mean we gotta talk about it. It's awesome. So, anyway, Barry. Barry, if you are Smith. unfamiliar for some ungodly reason, check out the Necros. <laughs> All right, here's another guy. Oh, yeah. Pete from Scream. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'll tell you why. Because this guy could actually sing. He like, can actually you know, sing, can like sing. sing, sing, not just oh, 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 like he can sing. Right. And all of Scream could actually play the shit out of all their instruments, too. But, uh, yeah, Pete Stahl. He could yep. actually carry a tune. True story. Um, it's a cool record. Yeah, Scream. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I'd actually like to maybe one day interview Pete if you're watching this of your people. Get a hold of my people. I'm sure I can find a clip of Scream. Look at that. So, yeah. Scream were great, Stop. could actually play their instruments, could actually, actually sing. sing. Mm. It wasn't just like she said, rah, rah, rah. Again, not the hard-ass, tough guy routine. Nope. Uh, just went out there and sang his ass off. And was damn good at it. And was damn good at it. Mm -hmm. Also, we're all, you know what else we're illustrating right here to all you out there that like to hate on hardcore and say that it was all the same? But clearly it was not it's at all. Not. It's not. That's false. The original hardcore, at least, yeah. was was very actually diverse and different. Yeah. And uh, in my uh, interview with Jimmy Gestapo for our Jim James Jimmy Dresher yeah, from longer. Murphy's Law, he was saying how in the beginning I thought this was great. Uh, in the beginning of hardcore, people would try to outdo themselves who could you know be the most different, and then eventually it all became that they all wanted to follow a blueprint. But initially, hardcore was not about right. that. Blueprint's lame. It's yeah. so boring. The band sounds Ooh. the same. Here's a good one. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Hi. The amazing John. fucking vocals. Weifenbach. How do you how do you pronounce his last name? <laughs> Weifenbach. Uh, well, that's how it's spelled, isn't it? <laughs> to um, wife and back. To yeah. wife. Weifenbach. 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 Tell us how to say your name right. Yeah. <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> um, if you, for some reason, don't know about this, um... <laughs> yeah, those are fucking epic vocals. Yeah. Epic. Another epic, one epic. of my interviews with Chris Stover, the bass player of Void, explained where John's singing style came from was uh, they would do pig pile pile ups. The bully older kids in the school buses would jump on the younger kids until they, and John would scream. 
And they were all, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that guy's got some pipes on him. <laughs> That's amazing. What a story. So they it's made him cool. a singer of Void. It's so fucking cool. Uh, so what number was that? Ah, uh, jeez. What, four? Five? Five. Five. That was five. Now, Void would certainly be on the top ten list of hardcore bands of all, of all time. time, not just Duh, singers. Yeah, agreed. Well, a lot of these would too, but yeah. there will be crossover. But I'm just mm -hmm. saying for all you that want to be like, oh, well, what about this band was better? Well, yeah, but we're talking about the best singers. Void's in the top five. Void. They had that evil sort of satanic image, even though they were suburban kids. <laughs> that couldn't play shows because they were grounded. grounded. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> so cool. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. What's next? Okay. Save that one for later because we're going to argue. All right. You know who I'm going to put up? Right. Springer! Fuck yeah, Springer! You Amazing know what? There's vocals. not even a picture of him on this. There's not. Okay. But here. Bam. We're back. Awesome. Mm -hmm. and also, eventually, could really sing. Mm -hmm. he, had that, he started that Cookie Monster thing. Yeah. But he could actually really sing. But it's cool because he also did that high pitch shit too, which is really cool. That yeah, he could, do both. I mean, he could really sing. Yeah. He had a really, really good voice. Good shit. Probably still does. Probably we don't know, does. Springer. What are you doing these days? I don't know, Springer. Are you going to join the Al Parial SSD reunion in 2024? Is SSD. Really but I would assume there wouldn't be an SSD that. without Springer. Those bats out here were in our undisclosed location. Mm. You can't really have SSD without Springer. No. I'm sure much to Al's dismay, but you cannot. And the guy was great. Again, completely different. All these singers, completely different from each other. Mm -hmm. There was no uniformity other than, uh, yeah, I guess it all had to be intense and right. fast and heavy. Intense and, and in your face. Yeah, but. Otherwise, it was their own thing. Mm-hmm. Guys who started it all. Ah, why well, yes, it's guy. you, Keith Morris. He is in every single movie about hardcore or punk in the last 20 whatever True. years. I'll throw on a clip anyway, though. <laughs> He's still going to this day. Obviously, everybody knows about Off. Everybody knows about Flag. Everybody and knows that the Circle Jerks are back whenever the world reopens. You know what's interesting about Keith Morris and his vocals is what? that even today, they haven't changed much. Like, a lot of people get older and their voice right. kind of changes. It's but better, he kind of sounds the same. His even vocals better. are yeah. really good. He yeah. still sounds great. Lose off. His voice. I'll even, how about this? We'll do a double whammy so we can show Off. I mean, right? Yeah, he sounds he, pretty he's much been the same. doing this since the 70s. Yeah. A lot of these guys didn't start till the That's 80s, impressive. two years later. And, and, yeah. He's still great. Mm -hmm. So you got to give it to him. Set give the tone, you, not Keith. the hard ass, tough guy routine, the party or troublemaker routine. Right, which is one of my favorite routines. Yeah, I, I usually tend to go for the hard ass guy. But, I, like a, I like a combination. Yeah. So. Oh, speaking of hard asses. Oh, yeah. Top five, for sure, since this is in no real order. Oh, John Brennan, motherfucker. Check out that SIG. <laughs> yeah, John Brennan. Our buddy John Brennan has some of the most fantastic hardcore vocals in history. And again, Check it. still doing it. And still sounds just we'll as good We'll have an old also. one and a new one. <laughs> and he'll write fuck shit up on your negative approach record for yep. you. And uh, that was a Tesco V description of him from back in the day in Touch and Go Mag that was like, you, you know, how amazing and intense he was and you thought that his pimples were going to explode on you and when he was <laughs> singing over the audience. <laughs> he did have some unfortunate happening in his youth. 
But that's one of the great yeah, things about old footage is that yeah. they're just all fucking little kids, so they have horrible yeah. acne. Yeah, he was We've all a been teenager, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, John Brandon. I mean, like, it's again, if I was forced to do like ranking by number, yeah, I don't even think it would be possible because you'd think, okay, well, HR, oh man, John Brandon, ah, shit. I mean, wrong. You, you know, you can't. These guys are all great. They all fucking pioneered a genre mm -hmm. of music. Even though, you know what else? This is something I want to pause a little bit for and point out. I was thinking about this in the shower today. Hardcore is so annoying because. You it showered was, today? Every day. I'm like, somebody. Okay. Everybody, the initial, you know, founding fathers and, and sisters and mothers of hardcore, they all, a few years into it, think about this, this is what I was thinking about. They all decided, oh, it's fuck hardcore, hardcore's stupid, and they all stopped playing hardcore a few years into it when it was, like, starting to gain really... That's true, it doesn't if make you were, sense. Imagine, like, if Ian McKay, Henry Rollins, John Brandon... Barry Hensler had not stopped playing hardcore when hardcore started playing to like in LA and New York hardcore was playing to like a couple thousand you know capacity not venues crap. yeah and and imagine you know if hardcore instead of hair metal could have mm -hmm. taken over the 80s that was another thing that could have happened if HR wouldn't have scotched the deal with Bad Brains getting signed to Island Records mm -hmm. you know imagine the world in which hardcore was the it thing instead of hair metal yeah. you know i mean in a way it's good because it kept it from having that for the fans and not for the jocks but it's like you know what i mean but it's also it's like interesting and uh, along with very frustrating that it's like the only like genre of music where like the people didn't want to succeed yeah the more well, people started like, to like their bands they're like oh this is man. stupid yeah oh this. wait now I'm but going... then i'm gonna go start like a metal band <laughs> or something and i'm gonna be way popular and be on tv well, talking about you you know who you are uh, no every brand started laughing hyenas which is an incredibly interesting underrated band in my yes. opinion and, and barry did big chief which is also interesting uh, and and different from hardcore and, and unexpected and which stuff is cool but was there ever another band or genre or group of people that were like, oh, wait a minute, my band is getting super popular. I'm out of here. Fuck that. <laughs> no, there wasn't. <laughs> and it wasn't about, oh, you needed to change, even though I guess the rest of the guys other than Ian and Minor Threat wanted to sound it like, wanted to go in a U2 direction and Ian wasn't into it. <laughs> so I'm glad. Thanks, Ian. Yeah, um, thanks, Ian. But I mean, it wasn't, people were starting to catch on to hardcore. It wasn't that you needed to change. Even though some yeah, bands tried to become metal and failed at it. Yeah. But people were catching on, and then they were like, oh, wow, fuck that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are starting to like this. I went from playing to 10 people or, or the bartender and the bouncer. Stop. And then suddenly hundreds, if not thousands, of people were coming to your gig, and you're like, yeah. fuck this. <laughs> I'm not doing remember. this anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand, but it's true. It is it's true. like Doyle said before it before the OG Misfits finally got back together. Mm -hmm. He was like, "This is the only thing where you, people can't just put their differences aside and get together and fucking yeah. make music and you know make money, which money shouldn't be your motivation, I suppose. But whatever, it's also reality. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? You know, I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink too. Cheers! Cheers!" I number have, nine. Number nine. I have shown this record before. You know, they only made two records. But Dave Smalley. Crazy good vocals. Great, great singer. Really, really good. You could also show the Dag Nasty good. record yeah. that he did. Both DYS records. He, and he actually Another guy who got sing. better and better and better and could See? actually sing. <laughs> Thing. You know, so Dave Smalley. Dave Smalley, number nine. Number nine. But you know, again, his numbers don't mean anything. Arbitrary. No. So for number ten, we disagreed on which take the Did slot. We? Well, I voted. I'm going Ian McKay. I'm going with Lee Ving. Well, obviously Lee Ving is great. Yes, he but is. you want know okay, so I'll, I'll tell you, okay. I mean, first of all, in a lot of ways. Minor Threat and Ian McKay were the epitome, the best in a lot of ways, the ultimate 
early 80s hardcore band. Mm -hmm. And again, I know that we're not talking about Dust Bands, but he was the singer and he also was the primary songwriter. And and he was he was great. He was great. He wasn't really a tough guy kind of stance. Are we talking about Ian or Leaving? Who did you pick? Leaving. Right, so I'm talking about Ian. Whoa, look at that attitude, everybody. <laughs> I, I Wait, then you, we should probably should have put a clip. I remember I saw I saw Minor Threat one time at Great Gildersleeves on the Bowery and uh, and uh, you know so I remember I was up front on the stage and he came out and it, they had just gone back to being a four piece when they got rid of uh, Hanston on uh, uh, bass and Brian Baker went back to playing bass so he was addressing the issue and so he was out there talking he was just like hey everybody so I guess you probably noticed that we're back to a four piece so anyway. Yeah, blah blah blah. We've been fighting and living together for so long, and we're better at just the four of us. And uh, so anyway, everything's casual. He's talking, and he goes. So anyway, we're gonna do a song called "What Do I Do?" And brah, place literally exploded. Right, and he's great, and he rules. Even though I'm so confused because I was thought it was Ian McKay, and apparently he's Ian Zeering, and he's Ian McKay. But uh, <laughs> well, actually, even to make it even but, uh, more confusing, I think it's Mackay. Oh, see, it's all fucking... <laughs> but I like to say Ian What the McKay. fuck is your name, man? Just like but, it's, uh, <laughs> it's Sam Hain. It's not Sawin. Yeah. It, it's Ian McKay. Okay, Sorry. so my argument of why Lee Bing should take the 10th spot. Here's a clip. He fucking rules. Sure he does. He's fucking amazing. Yeah. He's got so much charisma and personality. Still sounds great as well. Yeah, he does. And, he's got a great voice. And holy shit, man. It, it doesn't matter if they were like, you know, looked at as, you know, uh, we're fear, we're too macho and whatever. They fucking. That was all he, an act anyway. He wailed. He fucking. His Although voice I think, is I think leaving was definitely. He's not just one of my favorite hardcore vocals of all time. He's one of my favorite vocals, period, of all time. He was great in Flashdance, too. And in. And in Clue! Uh, <laughs> if you denounce me to the police, you will also be exposed and humiliated. I'll see to that report. <laughs> Look at you acting, Leaving. What can't you do? And Streets of Fire. Get it. <laughs> the guy was definitely a multi talented Renaissance man. Yeah. Leaving of fear. <laughs> yeah, so that was my uh, Obviously, he's McKay. great too, but I. I in terms of hardcore, man, that's got to, got to go to Ian McKay for know. me. That's what I say. I'm, I'm sticking with Lee. Maybe we'll make him number 11. Maybe we'll make Ian McKay number 11 or oh, Ian nah. McKay. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, also, Ian and Minor Threat were one of the first fucking people to start calling it hardcore and differentiate between regular punk rock and hardcore punk. Yeah, you but know. Fear sang about Budweiser and Minor Threat sang about milk. <laughs> and Coca-Cola. <laughs> was that song Budweiser King <laughs> of Actually, it was, Beers uh, Henry in SLA did I drink milk right I drink milk. Yep. we'll make it a top 11 tell us who should get that spot E and I and McKay McKay or who we make What's your you can go ahead and disagree obviously if you want but you're wrong but any, yeah, as usual this, again this is a scientifically formulated list right and we spent and if, if you want to disagree, that's fine, but don't don't give me any. Okay, obviously we're ne we're we're fucking New York to the bone, but mm -hmm. don't give me any. I'm offended because you didn't list the New Yorkers. Like that's why that's one of the reasons everyone hated American Hardcore book because they thought it should have done more NYHC. Which come on, man. I, I, so here's a story for you. You can judge me however you feel, but. So, when I was a wee Jackie B, I was at some punk rock fun times vomit party, and I was talking to this dude, and he was like, oh, do you like hardcore? And I was like, no, I fucking hate hardcore. And he was like, you have a Bad Marines uh, button, and I was like, that's punk rock. And he was like, no, that's hardcore. And I associate hardcore with that, 
girl, fuck you, whoa, beat down shit, which is 90s hardcore New York City scene. Which, I'm sorry, I just really fucking don't like it. Well, she still and thought that until I met her. And I, I did. said the same thing. I never she let like, it go. I don't like hardcore. I was like, you were listening to hardcore in my car. <laughs> I had, like, I had, in my car, I had a tape deck. It was a Ford Pro yeah. five-speed. It was a pretty kick-ass mm -hmm. car for a while. But I had an Age of Coral cassette. Yep. I had my Best of Hardcore Volume 1 cassette. Which and, I all like. But I always considered all these bands to be punk rock bands because like I said I grew up in a different decade than you right. so I always associate Whoa. hardcore with what I said that fucking stupid rrr, angry tough guys beating the shit out of each other for fun bullshit windmills and picking up yeah kind of picking situation. it up and putting it back I hate it I hate <laughs> it I'm sorry if those guys are on your list good for you the bug just flew in my face apparently he likes those bands I don't like it hey. I'm the bug that flew in my oh. face he was pissed. He I mean, so younger. again, yeah, back to what I was saying. Obviously, if I were going to do a top ten hardcore bands of all time, for instance, Agnostic Front would be on that list. Of course. And, uh, and Roger's great, dude. But do I think he was one of the all-time greatest hardcore mm. singers? I mean, he, if top 20, yes. yes. Top 20, sure. Yes. Top 10. So uh, that's what I was saying, all that, just in case anybody wants to complain. Mm -hmm. and get all emotionally erect about it which is fine that's cool i care about music too but <laughs> but make sure you consider for a second are you just getting emotionally erect or do you have a real point to make i doubt before it before you do it still don't like solo ozzy think people before you like speak me. or type <laughs> i don't like solo ozzy either <laughs> if you missed that one go back a few days on my facebook page everybody yeah Apparently, I got I'm unfriended really and hated on the upset. internet because I said I didn't. Like Again, I don't. I don't like pulling you these take kind it of personally. Right. <laughs> it's really silly for my opinion to hurt your feelings so much. But again, that's why we have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Well, we can espouse our feelings to our black hearts delight. Oh, you know what? Else I wanted. To, I wanted to start. I'm sure this will amount to nothing, but you never know. What? Uh, we've been asking for Kerr's Light to sponsor us mm -hmm. to no avail. Mm -hmm. I've been saying, okay, I've been thinking, if you want me to wear your t-shirt in one of oh. our vlogs, get a hold of me. I'll yeah. send you our address. I'm not going to post it here. No. And if I like it, then it's not lame. And much like Jen sending I'll us her balls. Her delicious, delicious balls. Jen's salty chocolate sweet balls. If you want to send Rum us something balls. for us to try and talk about on here, we would. Yeah. We'll promote you. If we'll we like honest. it. Yeah. If we like if it. If we like it. If we don't, hey, that's still promotion, man. <laughs> no publicity is bad publicity. <laughs> well, all publicity is good publicity, yeah. I think, is what you're trying to say there, Chief. My way of saying it's better. Oh, my God. I wore the cramps for two vlogs in a row. Vlog. Vlogs. Uh, Ew. Uh, She's all, I really like the cramps, everybody. I love them. I do. <laughs> I, I do, too. But. <laughs> Top five favorite bands of all time. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. That'd be a tough one. Oh, we could do that. All right. What top ten list do you want us to do next, folks? Let us know Let down us below. Know. Smash that like button. Subscribe. subscribe. Tell, tell your, your friends. friends. <laughs> if Please, you have for the any. love of <laughs> dog, tell your friends and subscribe and like. If you don't have any friends, stuff. tell your enemies. Tell your enemies. Tell your mom. If you think we suck and we're terrible. <laughs> Tell your enemies and your mom. Hmm. Hi, Mom. Your mom probably already likes us. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Do you want to do a recap of the top ten? Yep. So here was the list, if you forgot. In no particular order, we had... We went HR. HR. We went Henry. Henry. We went Barry. Barry. We went... Oh my god. Okay. Pick up the pace. We went Pete Stahl. Pete Stahl. We went Void. John. <laughs> John, whatever your last name is. <laughs> we went Spring Up. Spring Up. We went Keith. Hey. We went John Brennan. We went Dave Smalley. Smalley. Ian McKay. Or. And. Or. Leaving. Okay? 
That's it. That's There's it. your top 10 or 11 Can you do better? hardcore singers of all time. All right? All right. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. I will. All right. Well, gang. You know what time it is. Come to that time again. Eat shit. shit.